Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate standardized beta weights in logistic regression, binary logistic regression in this example, but uh, I imagine you could do it in any context of, of logistic regression. Uh, the paper that I found this uh, procedure in is a paper that's on the internet, and it's called Standardized Coefficients in Logistic Regression by Jason E. King, Baylor College of Medicine. And I encourage you to download this paper because you're going to need a, a relatively long function that you're going to use in Excel uh, to calculate. And that's at the back of the paper uh, in the appendix. This big function here is going to have to be inputted into Excel. Now, in a previous uh, video series, I, I talked about the importance of beta weights in logistic regression and how in SPSS and probably all, all the other types of uh, stats packages only report uh, unstandardized beta weights. Uh, and they also report odds ratios. But it's very difficult to use either of those uh, pieces of information to evaluate the relative importance of a predictor in a regression model. Now in the example that I used using gender and annual salary to predict credit default, the odds ratios and the uns and the um the odds ratios and the unstandardized beta weights uh both suggested that gender was by far the strongest predictor of credit default. Uh, and I then suggested that that's actually wrong. You would be wrong to think that that's the case. Uh, annual salary is the most important predictor out of the two. Uh, and But you couldn't discern that by looking at the, um, at the values in the logistic regression, which I thought was very interesting. Now, how to calculate standardized beta weights is not complicated, but none of the stats packages do it. Maybe SAS does it. I, I'm not sure about that. Um, so to do it, uh, you need to calculate three things. First, you need to calculate a reference point, uh, which is easily done in logistic regression. And then you need the standard deviation of the predictor that you want to standardize in terms of its beta weight. And then you need the actual unstandardized beta weight. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the predicted probabilities in the logistic regression analysis. Uh, because I need the, the mean of those predicted probabilities. Uh, and by doing so, I'm also going to get the unstandardized beta weights at the same time. So I'm going to go to regression, binary logistic. Now I've already done this analysis. So I've got gender and annual salary as my predictors and credit default. And I'm going to save predicted probabilities over here. Click on OK and continue. OK. So that's just created a predicted probabilities variable, which is here. So all these people here have very low probability of defaulting on their mortgage. But as we go up, uh, higher and higher predicted probability values, and then they get above 0.5. So then we start to think, well, they're probably going to be uh, defaulting on their um, mortgage. Uh, I need the mean of this value. So I also need the standard deviations of these two values. So I'm going to calculate that in, in the descriptors option. So I've got gender, annual salary, and predicted probabilities is already in there. So um, these two are already in there. doesn't matter what order you put those in. Uh, what options have I got? I've got mean and standard deviation. I deselected min and maximum. I'm going to click OK. All right, so the first thing I need is the mean of the predicted probabilities, which is equal to 0 0.095. So most people are not likely to default on their mortgage. Uh, which is what this value is basically telling us. Uh, only about 10% of people uh, default on their mortgage. So I've got this spreadsheet, which you um, is easily done, easily enough done for yourself. You just I type these words in. It's actually not even necessary. But this big uh, function here that you need in Excel, which I encourage you to just copy and paste from the, the Baylor paper. Uh, is in my uh, column here. And make sure that you have it in the A column because uh, the numbers in the uh, formula assume that you're actually inputting values in A. So the mean of the predicted probabilities is 0 0.0952. 0 0.0952. 0 0.0952, correct? Uh, now I need my unstandardized beta weight. And I'm going to use my first uh, independent variable, annual salary. So that has a standard deviation of 